be one, two, yeah. <laughs> Hello there and welcome back to Field Study. Today I'm in my garden, I'm going to show you an excellent festive drinks recipe for something that you can forage for at home. Stay tuned. So today I'm outside cooking on my beautiful fire pit, but this recipe can be done on any hob. So this Christmas tree gin and tonic all centers around a beautiful and versatile simple syrup. Start by combining equal quantities of sugar and water, then prepare your Christmas tree by cutting the fronds into manageable sized pieces. Add them to the pan and sit back and relax as you wait for it to come up to temperature. Now you want this sugar syrup to come to the boil slowly. Uh, you don't want to boil it too erratically. It needs to have a long, slow steep so all of those lovely piney um, smells, aromas and things can come out of the Christmas tree and really infuse into that syrup. And that's the trick to this. If you boil it too vigorously, some of those beautiful flavours, uh, that smell that you get when you walk into a room with a Christmas tree in it, loads of them will be boiled off and lost to the atmosphere. So bring it to the boil really, really slowly. So an hour or so has passed and what we're left with is this beautifully coloured simple syrup. And the only thing to do is get on with making our gin and tonic. Add a good measure of your favourite gin and a couple of tablespoons of your Christmas tree simple syrup. Garnish with a twist of lemon rind and then top all the way up to the brim with some mouth-puckeringly bitter tonic. So there we go, a beautiful Christmas tree gin and tonic. Um, it is fresh, it is citrusy, it is piney, um, and it's really, really refreshing and an excellent way to use up something that might be wasted come New Year's. So with all the hecticness that comes with Christmas, it is important to make uh, beautiful and delicious things and sit and enjoy them. And that's exactly what I'm going to do this evening. Uh, I'm going to sit here, have one of these, stoke the fire up and maybe toast some marshmallows. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and hit subscribe for more foraging videos and recipes from this beautiful landscape. Until next week, take care.